Salesforce account and uh, here I will give you some uh, knowledge on admin part. Since as a Mulesoft developer, many times you need to integrate with Salesforce system and uh, it's good if you have knowledge of the Salesforce admin part. OK, so. In Salesforce admin part, we will see like how to. We will start from the account creation. First, we will go to create account and then. Uh, like I will show you. How to like check what all objects we have, how to create custom object. OK, and uh, if you want to connect with uh, Salesforce. Using Salesforce connector. And you want to have the basic authentication. Uh, like security, like you want to connect through basic authentication, then how to generate the security token? OK, if you have uh, like already inserted any data or if you want to retrieve the details from any object, how to do that? And where to write SOQL query? All those kind of thing we will see today. OK, so first thing uh, like uh, we'll create Salesforce account. I have already uh, like account in Salesforce. So for today training purpose, I want one uh, like I want to use one fresh account. So is there anyone like can provide me your email ID so I can create account behalf of you and then you can use that same account. So I need one email ID and uh, like we need some. Uh, OTP verification also. So if anyone has your email ID ready and you lo already logged in then provide me that email id uh, ravi is that like uh, salesforce developer account How? yes yes okay i have that so. okay. anyone can give me your email id so i will create account on behalf of you and you can use same account okay so i got from satya Can you share that uh, word document with us? OK, yeah, remind me after class I will say. Okay. Ravi, is this also trial version for one month like that? Sales yeah, this one is also trial version. OK, but uh, I am using my account from last one and a half year. OK, so I'm not 100% sure this trial account will work for how many months. OK, but my my account is working from last one and a half year. OK. Is there any error? No. Satya, can you check your email? Have you received any uh, like email? Sure, Ravi. Uh, 
I haven't received any Ravi. Check in uh, this spam email spam also. Folder. Yeah. Last few time, like no. I have seen, no. I okay. I haven't received any in spam also. Let me try again. Maybe you try with a different ID, Ravi. The yeah, other yeah. one, Bash, or I'm not sure why it didn't receive. Okay. I'm, I'm doing this again. Actually, it should go in, like it should redirect in some other page. But skip on one same page. Complete the form to start your, our team will be in touch to. Okay, there is no error also, but it's not moving for next page. Yeah, recently I have seen like uh, creating this account is creating some kind of trouble. Same happening for me, Ravi. Mm, okay. If it is same thing for you also, then let me try. Okay, let me try this portal. Uh, so can you give me your phone number and email address or is this mandatory or not? It's not mandatory. No, it's mandatory. Then, I'll then okay. I'll just give it here, Ravi. Okay. Keep checking your email. I'm uh, sure. Really. Yeah, I got a mail. Yeah, I have received. OK. I'll just give then, verify account. Yeah, let me complete this and then you can. Okay. Sure. So everyone can follow me. Is this support? OK, so this account got created. Yeah, you can verify your email. Just verify it and, and let me know. I'm uh, sure. And, and you people can see here. They left in trial 30 days, so now they are giving only for one month.
It's saying to wait few minutes, uh, Ravi. Let me know once you will complete this. I'm sure, Ravi. It's still uh, showing the same issue, like uh, we are setting things up. Uh, someone who has uh, created for you, the account verification happened. No, it's the same. Okay, yeah, sometime it takes time, so wait for a few minutes. Uh, Ravi, did you select uh, uh, the option that it says, I'm just checking things out for now, right? What brings you Salesforce question? Oh, uh, sorry, sir. <clears throat> when you create uh, the yes. question, there is a question what brings you to Salesforce? Yeah, I think uh, you can you can select any of those three options. Oh, win more deals or any support? Ravi, I had verified and uh, changed the password. I'll give you the password. Okay. It's not asking me, but uh, Chipper, mean, okay, I think I can work with this account. Okay. Let me know if it is not okay. creating any trouble. Then let me do other activity. Okay. You already verified, correct? Yes, yes, I have verified. Okay. Maybe it will reflect in some time. I think you need to give the user ID and password now, Ravi, because uh, when it got verified, it asked to change the password. I changed the password. It went inside Salesforce account. Now I have logged it out. Yeah. So you can uh, log in using the same email ID and this password. OK, OK. Then then let me try that one. Sure. So, You can change your password after this class, okay? Yeah. So check for username whether we have some spaces in that.
You try with this URL, uh, Ravi, because in the okay. email I got this URL and okay. it's an email. Yeah. Send me that URL. Uh, I thought uh, we have to log in with Salesforce uh, user ID instead of the Gmail. Yeah, I used uh, Gmail only oh. as a user ID. Yeah, send me oh. verification code. Five one six eight seven zero. Five one. One six eight seven zero. Okay, so our account is ready. So what you people need to do when you will go for the link what I shared, you need to go on this link and then there will be sign in option. Okay. So this direct link is not working. Let me try to provide you direct link. So. This link is not working, so we'll go to login and then we will go for it. Oh, okay, this is coming in different way. Just give me one minute. Okay, uh, this is not the page. Let me go to that particular page where I created account successfully. Okay, so you people will not have much trouble. Yeah, this one. But
we started with this one. Our format was different a bit, correct? First time when we did uh, successful registration that they were asking only two, three detail. Now they are asking many detail. Okay, let's try with this option. Hopefully it should work. Yeah, it's a same place it's taken. Okay, so you people can follow. Same state, go to that particular URL what I said, then go to login and then go for free trial. Okay, so this option you can follow. Yeah, both are same only. Okay, and then you can register from here. So our registration part is I'm, successful. I'm, I'm getting and the same answer. You get sir. okay. Okay, so you are able to create account successfully. Yeah. Okay, fine. And for login purpose, you will get a URL in your email only. Okay. Yeah. So you can use same. Yeah, there is no there is no one unique URL. Yeah, might be so. <clears throat> so does that mean that is the specific to the URL specific to our company, the one that we created for the created? Yeah, that is URL? yeah that is one thing that URL okay. will be specific to your company. Okay. okay. <clears throat> and yeah, that I have seen in my organization also. We have our company domain name with the URL. Okay. OK, so our account setup is ready. This part is a bit complex compared to other account setup, but hope you uh, you people got it. OK, so you will able to do. Now next. Like I want to show you like. How to see the existing object what we have already in Salesforce. OK, so for that part. In left hand side, you can see we have many option and here you will get object and fields okay once you will extend this one you will get object manager and you can see here these are the standard object okay so you can see name a standard object. These are the standard object which is provided by Salesforce. OK. If whatever like. Requirement you have and for that requirement, if already standard object is there, then well and good. OK, but if you have requirement of any object which is not part of standard object, then you can create. By yourself and that kind of object will term at as a custom object. So how you will create the custom object here? You can see create option. Custom object. And here we will use. Name as a demo. Sir, what is the purpose of this object? So if you need to have some storage where you will store the your Salesforce detail like uh, records and all. And for particular like how we create table in database where we store all the data and everything. It is like schema or like we can. Sorry. It is like schema or. Table. Oh, uh, it's kind of table. OK.
I'm seeing a different UI. I'm not seeing the same as yours. Uh, sorry. What are you saying? Are you facing any problem? The UI is not the same as yours. Yeah, that part is fine, but are you able to log in your account or not? Yes, I'm, I'm able to log in. Yeah, that is fine. Because okay. I'm not able to find the object. Okay, just follow now, actually. If you will do it together, then you will get lots of problems. Okay, I will suggest to follow what I am doing, okay? And then do by yourself, and still you will have doubt, then you can reach out to me. Okay, so here, like uh, you will give the label and object name, and then so by default you will get one record. Okay, by default you will get one uh, attribute in the table. So we can create that as a type text, and you can give name as like demo name. Okay. Hmm. Then you can keep all this as a default only. So this object got created. Name is demo underscore C. Okay. So whenever you will create custom object, okay, so you will able to see underscore C with that particular object also and their attributes also, fields also. Okay, so for custom object and custom field, with name you will get underscore and underscore C. But if you will go for standard object and standard field, that field name will be directly. Everyone clear on this part? Next, you can go in this field and relationship. And here you can see these are the standard field. Like whenever you are creating any object, standard object, whenever you have any object, standard object or custom object, you will have some fields. Okay. Those fields will be standard field. And you can see their name don't contain any underscore underscore C. But now I will create few more fields. Okay. So here go to new. This will be data type of that field. So let me take text. And here we will give field name. Can you repeat this part now? Uh, sorry, can I repeat this part once? Which okay, uh, you will go in field and relationship, you will click on new. No, no, the, from the start, if you can, a bit I mean, the creation of object. Okay, to create object, you need to go to object manager. You will get create option here. Click on custom object. Give the name of that object and click on sub save. So once you will save it. Okay. 
so you will able to see like first time it will redirect you directly but if you haven't then you can come here you can search for your object and then you will go on field and relationship and here we will create field click on new then select the data type click on next Okay, then give the field name. Okay, and then length of the string 50. Field name, we can keep this description and all you can give. If you want to make it unique or required true, so that kind of check you have. If you want to make it required, or if you want to make it unique, or if you want to make it external ID. So in Salesforce, whenever you are performing any operation like uh, update kind of thing, absurd kind of thing at that time, we perform those operation based on the external ID. So if you want to create any field with external ID, you can do that. OK, and then click on next. OK, so all these details are here. Then click on next. OK, so this is all the detail and click on save. If you will do save and new, it will ask you to create new field, but I don't want to create, so just save it. So you can see here we have test field and field name contains underscore underscore C. Only one field in an object can have uh, external can be flagged as external ID. Sorry, tell me again. I'm saying only one field uh, can be external ID. Is it in an object? No, no. Like primary it, key. It can be multiple. Okay. Okay. I was thinking of uh, primary key in table. Yeah, primary that in primary key in table also contains one or multiple field. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So in this way, what we did, we created this particular object. Okay. Now from here, click on your name. So here you can see we have many objects. OK, these objects are frequently used like opportunity, lead, task, file, account, contact. So these are frequently used objects are there. OK, so if you want to see your object in this particular list. OK, so how you can see that? So for that you need to go to. Setup. And click tabs, go through dips tabs. And here, custom object tab, click new. Select the object. We created demo object. Tab style. Let's do anything. And this, yeah, all this thing we can keep default. Click next. Click on save. Okay, so here. We have custom object named demo demo. OK. Now if you go here in this page. Refresh this page. OK, 
and in this mode option, you can see demo. Till this point, everyone clear? Okay. Now, if I want to insert some record manually, okay, from Salesforce, you can do a insert the record, click on new, and here give the name. This is the default field, okay. So you can give name something. And click on save. Okay. So this particular record got created. If you want to have uh, like, let me create a few more contact first. Few more records first. Okay, so here we have this three, but you can see there are multiple columns are there. If you go to this particular object, We have multiple fields here, like owner, test field one, last modified. So these are the standard one, and this one is custom one. But at this moment, only we can see this one here. Okay, so if you want to see all, then what you need to do, click on all, in the central view, click on all, then go to setting, and then select field to display. And what at this moment demo name is selected, so you can select other created by test field one, owner first name, last modified by. You can see. So you can see now we are getting all the details here. Everyone clear with this? Yes. Okay, so here we are seeing these things by using manual option. Now we will see how we can write the query to get this data. Okay, so for that purpose, you need to go to developer console. So similar to database SOQL query is there. So you need to learn a bit, but it's very similar to database query. Is there a way to drag and drop or visually build a query or we need to type it? I know only typing option, but maybe you can check with any Salesforce admin. If you have any friend or anyone. My I wanted to know this because how would we know the syntax? Any uh, can you share any resource from where we can get the syntax and other things? You can just uh, Google it. You will get many places where they are teaching the SOQL. Yes, OK. OK.
So you can see here, we are getting all this record from here. This is one, one way. And then, like we want to search the data for test. So other way you can do here, just type the unique ID what you have, okay, and click enter. It's not coming. This is custom object, so that's why it's creating problem. It's not coming in search. A part of that, you have many other object. And you can search data for that one. If any, okay, these are empty. Okay. So generally what you we used to do, we used to have external reference ID or ID or some other keyword. So you can put that keyword here. Sometime you can without selecting this object name also you will put here and once you will. Search for that you will able to see those record detail directly. You don't need to do right query or you don't need to do many things. OK. So that part also will be very helpful. OK, and many times you need to do that activity as a of developer. Like generally you can ask Salesforce team. They can help you to fetch particular record and you can check whatever you are inserting <coughs> is coming as expected or not. But instead of being dependent on those Salesforce developer, you can do this kind of activity by yourself. Object and all definitely they will create, but accessing that object and other thing you can do by yourself. OK, and you need to know like let's say you want to no particular field like that field do exist in object or not. So you can come to object manager by yourself and you can check those fields are there or not. OK. So that kind of advantage you will get if you know this uh, basic admin part. Next thing, as I mentioned, like if you want to connect with Salesforce using Salesforce connector and you want to use basic authentication, then you can come here. Go to settings. So once you will click on this reset my security token, one token will be sent in your email. OK, and that token you can use to connect with Salesforce using basic authentication. To generate the token, what you need to do, you need to go in settings. Then you will get this particular tab here. You need to go to reset my token. And then. You will get option to reset and then you will get that token in your email. That is first thing and here you have like you can change your password and all other capability you have here. You can check login history, personal information and other thing. OK, so this particular tab is also very important setting. OK, so I think. Uh, if you have this many knowledge, then you are good. And you can see here 
at this moment demo is at the very last one if you want to bring it on first or some other let's say this object custom object you are using very frequently okay so you can change the order Okay, in this demo is coming on top. Just give me one minute. <clears throat> okay, so this demo is coming on top here. I want to make it before this, so let me try again. Yeah, now demo is coming here. So let's say you have any custom object or any other object which you use very frequently then you can change their order on the top of your screen. What is the definition of object uh, in relation to Salesforce? You can say object is a storage where you can store your information. Okay, like how we have table in database, same way we have object in Salesforce. Okay, hope everyone cleared this part. Okay, so setup tab we have seen. This one, once you will click on your name, then this tab will come. Okay, this one is the okay, same one. Developer console, once you will go here, you will able to see developer console here. And here you can write your query and all. Okay. So these three, four tabs are important, which you need to know. And I have already shown you what all things you should know as a developer. The, the and developer object manager. Concern, the developer concern, uh, it says open advanced setup. So it may be varied. Yeah. If you go there, no, 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 the other way. Yeah. No, on the, yes. Yeah, here you got developer console, but in our case, it says uh, open advanced setup. It's a different setup. Oh, it, it's not coming developer console? No, no. It says open advanced setup. When I click there, but, then I get the UI. Okay, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, mostly it should be same. I'm not sure why it's coming different. Maybe you have created account somewhere else. Okay, or maybe uh, this one is lighting experience only. This one is normal one. Okay, at this moment, uh, you people need to know only this part. Hope everyone clear. Okay, so uh, before starting the Git, like Git, not Git, uh, Jira and Confluence part. Okay, uh, let's take a break. Okay. So in usual, we will take 15 minute break, but today I, I like due to some uh, reason, I want to take a bit more break. Okay, so let's have a, I think 20 minutes should be okay. Let's have a 20 minute break and then we'll connect again and we'll continue on the Jira ticketing tool, Confluence. Okay, those two are Atlassian product and we will continue there. Okay. Yeah, let's meet in uh, uh, 20 minutes by uh, 9.20 IST and EST will be around
ಟೆನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಓಕೆ 